Today we're at Boys Hope, Girls Hope, one of our nine Legends clinics for the summer. We were joined by Legends Frank Sams as well as Hanford Dixon to come out and participate and help with skills and drills and most of all just have fun with the kids right here at Boys Hope, Girls Hope. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good. 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 Excellent. When you look at some of these kids, you see yourself. It's just so much fun teaching them, say for instance, when they're changing directions, how to keep their weight down, how to uh, run a faster time, how to catch a ball. When you catch one, you gotta see it, keep your eyes on it. Just little things like that, fundamental things like that. And we just enjoyed it. When Haslam Field opened in 2019, we had visions of working with the Cleveland Browns, the community, and of course, the Boys Hope, Girls Hope families that we serve to do events just like this. And because of COVID, we weren't able to do it last year. So this is a dream come true for our organization. Uh, to see this all come to life is a lot of fun. Engaging with the kids on the finer things in football, all these coaches have a wonderful handle uh, on the game and, and, and how to play the game, but there's a fine tuning, you know, whether it's tackle approaching, which is really important for kids playing football, or just simply catching the ball. I saw Hanford share some of his experience as a defensive back, experiencing at the professional level, and that experience is just, you know, priceless and valuable. And, and uh, that's to me, that's the joy is, is, is really giving back to the community and, you know, in a sense, paying it forward. I saw some pretty special plays out there. I saw some kids trying and learning and having fun, which is such a great thing. This day wasn't meant for kids who had to be great at football. We have boys and girls, we have all different ages out here today. And the common bond I see is they're having fun. And to be outside right now, um, after a hard year, uh, being at home and COVID and face masks, what's not to love?